Director Chris Porter right now live from Porter's Place. So we got to talk about Trevor Lawrence here to start. Obviously just Look at that a shirt. phenomenal talent. I love the shirt, Chris. That's fantastic. But even just off the field, tell me what he is going to bring to that team in the terms of, you know, attitude, uplifting the team after such a rough season. First of all, Katie Jeffers, before we get all so deep on Trevor Lawrence, let's just celebrate that we got this dude. We have been waiting since December 27th of 2020 to be able to say that Trevor Lawrence is a Jacksonville Jaguar. His attributes, they're absolutely off the charts. Number one, he's an excellent leader. Strong arm, accurate, mobile. Off the field, he's a man of character. You know he's going to be involved in the community. He led that charge last year when uh, college football players in the Big Ten and some of the other conferences when they were saying they may not play, he led that charge. He used his influence to get those conferences to play. Then during that whole Black Lives Matter situation, he was out front as well as he fought for equality for all. So that tells you right there the kind of man he is. And he is, a, you know, when you have the success that Trevor Lawrence has had in high school, in college, and we're gonna claim it in the NFL. He's a natural born leader. And what do leaders do? They make everybody around them better. And we know that Trevor Lawrence is going to come in and he's gonna make everybody around him over at TIAA Bank Field better. And the fans, I gotta tell you, when, when we knew Trevor Lawrence was coming to Jacksonville, when the NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell called his name, I felt like it was a victory Monday. V-I-C-T-O-R-Y, yeah! They were fired up, I was fired up. I, I mean, I know it's real, but I'll be honest with you guys, it still really hadn't sank in that we've got this guy, Trevor Lawrence. It's a great pick. It's obvious, it was the obvious pick. They did the right thing. Now, not so obvious was what they did later on in round one with pick 25. Travis Etienne, Trevor Lawrence teammate. If you haven't watched a lot of Clemson football, um, you don't know, maybe you don't know Travis Etienne. He is all world, a terrific running back, sure. But I am wondering, I know if Trevor's gonna need weapons, Travis can catch the football really well out of the backfield. James Robinson, though, is there, a thousand yard rusher himself. What are the Jags thinking here, Chris? Uh, James Robinson on short yardage, Travis, uh, you know, your first, second down guy. What's, what's this, the motivation? First of all, if you've listened to Urban Meyer since he took the job here in Jacksonville, he's really tipped his hand. What did he say? He wants offensive players that can create those big, explosive plays. He also said that he wants a fast, fast, fast team. And in order for you to be able to have guys that, uh, that are explosive, that are fast, you got to draft them. And Travis Etienne is that dude. He is a guy that every time he touches the ball, sweet Lou, he can break a long play. Now, you know, one of the issues that we've had here is that we may have one or two good players at a position or two, but we never have any depth. And I don't think there's anything wrong with having a pound and ground guy with James Robinson and a Carlos Hyde, and then have that guy to come in, a guy to come in and be that changeup, that guy that can come in and really hit the hole in 90 yards to the house, make reservations for six. And I think that that is exactly what uh, uh, Travis Etienne will do. Uh, last night, Urban Meyer comparing him to Percy Harvin, and we know Percy, Percy, Percy. When he was in his prime, he was one of the most. Uh, 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 explosive. He gave defense defensive nightmares, and that is the line of thinking. Meyer wants speed. He wants guys that create big plays. The Jaguars didn't have enough of that last year. With this guy, they should. Speaking of Urban Meyer, Chris, what do you think is his strategy going in now to round two of the draft? What do you what do you think um, he's going to go for with picks? All right. Urban, I told you again, he's been very transparent. He talked about last night that, you know, he's one of those coaches he's been told he's telling too much. What did he say? You've got to be able to win the line of scrimmage up front on the defensive side of the ball. you got to get after that quarterback. you got to be able to uh, create havoc on the defensive side of the ball. And there's a guy that I think can come into Jacksonville, and he's still available, that will be the perfect fit. Alabama. Alabama's Christian Barmore. He's a guy that can get after you. He's one of those guys that can uh, make those quarterbacks have nightmares at night. So I'm thinking with these three picks in the second round, right off the bat, Urban Meyer's going defensive line.
Brilliant, and it'll be the right move. We need to start scaring the rest of the AFC South's quarterbacks now that we've got the best quarterback in the AFC South. Chris Porter from Porter's Place live. Thank and you. And shout sir. out to Matt Jones, Hugh Lou. Yes. Shout out to Matt Jones. Yes. Yeah, Bowles alum, Matt Jones, Alabama. Man, I'm finally getting close to that Heisman Trophy and now going, what, uh, drafted by the Patriots. Very, very cool stuff. Thank you, sir. 6.51 is your time. Your GMJ on the go. Coming up next.